Ben is in Dayton, Ohio. Hi, Ben. How are you? I'm well, and how are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, I wanted to uh, first start off by saying that my wife and I are 25, and we're on Baby Step 7, thanks to your tools. So thanks to you and the wow. team for all the help. Congrats, Ben. Way That's go, awesome. Man. Good job. Well, thanks. Um, just I'll keep it brief so I can respect your time. Uh, for funny money investing or investing that's less than 10% of your net worth, uh, what is your opinion on two times and three times leveraged S&P 500 index funds? I don't borrow money, so I don't leverage anything. No, I'm sorry, not not borrowing money like a leveraged account, but um, like an index fund that mimics two times what the actual index does. Oh, 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 okay. Um, I thought you were leveraging into this fund. Okay. Um, no, no, sir. Wouldn't borrow okay. money again. Okay. All right, good. Then we're back on the same page. I mean, if it's a small amount and you want to play with it, that's fine. Um, I've not used that vehicle personally, so I can't tell you one way or the other about that part of it. But if it's something you've researched and you feel fine about, and like you said, it's less than 10% of your overall thing, it's like buying a stock. I don't buy stock, but if you want to, single stocks, but if you want to buy a single stock, and it's less than 10% of your overall net worth, it's not going to affect you if it evaporates. And so it's fine to go ahead and try something like that at that point. Um, but it's, um, it's here, here's the thing you want to always do, okay? Um, you never want to look for a get-rich-quick vibe on an investment. He who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. And everyone who's trying to find a shortcut, everyone who's trying to get an angle, my wife always called it when I was doing it, she said, you're scheming and scamming. You know, stop that. Just be steady. Just be steady. You don't have to be super boring and just do a CD. That's not what I'm talking about. But any time that if if you catch your, and I, I can still do it to this day, and I teach this stuff, I have to catch my spirit. And if my spirit is looking for um, a cheat code, for investing, you know, uh, there's a way to get here that it's a little easier, it's a little faster, and it's, uh, and, and, and then you start to ignore the things that are going to, and, and you're going to get yourself in a pinch. And I've seen wealthy people make themselves poor doing that because they, they keep looking for that angle. They keep looking for the quick, the quick hit. And as long as you're not doing it with that spirit, that's a spirit. That's not a, it's not a math thing. That's a way you feel about something. And that's my biggest problem when people are doing a lot of these weird investing things that they do uh, just because it's faddish and it's big on the Internet and some stupid Reddit thread or something like that.